Back in 2021, the RTX 3060 launched with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, DLSS support, and a promise, smooth 1080p gaming without breaking the bank. But it's 2025 now. Games are bigger, ray tracing is heavier, and even budget cards come with AI frame generation. So the question is, is the RTX 3060 still a solid choice today, or has time finally caught up to it? Let's dive in. Specs-wise, the RTX 3060 still holds its ground with 12GB of VRAM, more than even the newer RTX 4060. It supports ray tracing, DLSS 3 via modding, and PCIe Gen 4. On the used market in 2025, prices hover around $180 to $220, making it an attractive option for budget builds. But raw specs don't tell the whole story, so let's see how it holds up in real-world games. In 2025, the RTX 3060 still delivers solid 1080p performance across most modern titles. In Cyberpunk 2077, expect around 55 to 60 FPS. Call of Duty Warzone, it holds 90 to 100 FPS on high settings. Forza Horizon 5, cruises past 100 FPS on Ultra. Resident Evil 4, smooth at 80 to 90 FPS with FSR or DLSS. Even newer 2024, 25 titles like Helldivers 2 and Starfield are playable at medium settings with upscaling enabled. Just keep in mind, in the most demanding titles, you'll need to turn down ray tracing or rely on DLSS FSR for a smoother ride. Now let's talk value. The RTX 3060 can be found used for around $180 to $220, and in that price range, it faces tough competition. RX 6600 is often cheaper, around $150 to $170, and trades blows with the 3060 in raster performance, but lacks strong ray tracing and DLSS. RTX 4060 is a newer option at $250 to $280, more efficient, and has better frame generation, but you're paying extra for that. Even the RX 6700 XT pops up for $220 to $240 used, and it beats the 3060 in raw performance, though it also lacks DLSS. So, unless you really need NVIDIA features like DLSS or NVNC for streaming, the 3060 is decent, but not unbeatable. So, is the RTX 3060 still worth it in 2025? If you can grab one for under $200, it's a solid 1080p card with great NVIDIA features, especially for esports, streaming, or games that support DLSS. But if you're purely after the best raw FPS for your dollar, AMD's RX 6600 or 6700 XT might give you better bang for your buck. In short, the RTX 3060 still holds its own, just don't overpay, and always compare what else is out there.